Making friends as an adult is hard, especially with the rise of remote work. But today I'm going to show you ways that you can make friends in a brand new city where you don't know anyone. I moved to Malaysia and France not knowing a single person and I feel comfortable solo traveling knowing that I can use these methods to meet people. If you're an introvert, stay to the end because these options are all very different from each other and I'm sure we'll find some that work well for you. So let's get to it. The first place I would say to look is notice boards. Now this might seem a bit strange because most things are online these days, but lots of cities aren't great at promoting what's going on in the local area. So go to supermarkets and community centers and libraries and look at their notice boards as they often advertise different interest groups and events and social activities there. And that's a great way to meet people. You can also find events to attend online. So meetup.com is a great website because it lists lots of interest groups and they run events both online and in person. If you can't find a group that you're interested in, you can set up your own. Other places to look for events are Facebook and Eventbrite and also Couchsurfing. So my next tip is Couchsurfing. You don't have to stay with people or host people to use Couchsurfing. You can actually use their Hangouts feature. So the way this works, I can show you now. On their app, you can click on Hangout now. And then it says, I want to, and you write what you want to do, whether you want to go to a cafe, go hiking, go swimming, wherever. So let's say, for example, now I want to, let's say, grab a coffee. Then you click done. And what happens is when you click become available, it will show you in the open hangouts, everyone that's available nearby. And you can join other people's hangouts or they can join your own hangout and you'll be put into a group chat where you can arrange whether you want to meet up or not and check out their profiles and check that they are actually real people with good reviews. So couch surfing is definitely something not to miss. I've done this in many countries and also when I'm not traveling and it works really well. Another great way to make friends is to join an online community. So personally, I love making videos. So I've joined Creator Now. Creator Now is the strongest community of creators online. There are workshops with the biggest and brightest brains behind YouTube. And yes, that's right. You can join a Zoom call and get the chance to ask them questions. Before joining Creator Now, I didn't know any YouTubers. And so Creator Now has been a great way to meet 300 other creators in an app called Geneva. In Geneva, you can join different rooms and talk about everything related to YouTube. And I really do mean everything. No question is off limits. You can even get feedback on your videos, your titles and your thumbnails. Because content creation and having your own business can be a lonely journey. Creator Now also has this really cool matching service where they will email you and introduce you one-on-one -on -one to a creator that has a similar sort of niche or in a similar goal, similar sort of channel size. And their matching service actually works really well because they match me with someone that I was already friends with. So clearly they know what they're doing. There are creators from all around the world. Uh, but if you don't want to meet in person, that's fine. You can meet them online through video calls or just chatting. My next tip is to join a language cafe. Now, these are some of my favorite events. And this is where you exchange languages. So you teach a language that you know, and you meet people that are really good at the language that you want to learn. And this is great if you're in a country where you don't really know the language that well, and you'd really like to improve. And you'll meet people from all around the world. I've done this a lot at university, but also when I'm traveling. Uh, next is to join a club. So this might be a sports club or an art class or a hobby or interest you have that you want to learn more about. And sometimes you can find these for free. Don't be afraid to go, even if you don't speak the language. And also don't be afraid to make friends with different ages. Uh, in France, I joined a video club called Midi Video and the ages range from 16 all the way up to my friend Marie, who was 90. Just by watching and miming, you can get a lot further than you think. Team sports is a great way to meet people because you don't really need to know the language to take part. Next is to audit a class. Now this is something I really want to do where it is you go to a class and you don't pay to sort of take the exam or the test or get a certificate. You just go to the classes just to learn and to meet new people and to just be in the environment. And I think it's a really great way to meet people. You would just email the teacher or the lecturer and ask if it's possible for you to join. Next up is social media. Do not be afraid to slide into the DMs of people that you think are cool, people that you want to be friends with. So 
Facebook groups is a great way to meet people. If you search on Facebook for a hobby you have or the city you're in, I guarantee that you will find very niche Facebook groups. And when you join, you introduce yourself and you'll start having conversations with people and this could lead to a new friendship. Other ways is to join WhatsApp, Telegram and Discord groups. Maybe your favourite YouTubers have got a community. So for example, the Yes Theory YouTube channel, they have the Yes Fam that, that arrange meetups and they're a group of people that want to seek discomfort and say yes to things and they've got Facebook groups and Discord groups all around the world. So join a group that you're interested in, introduce yourself and see what comes from that. Let me know what groups you join. I have a blog post where I've written about safety tips when you are meeting people that you've met on the internet so that's in the description below. Thank you to Creator Now for encouraging me to post every week for six weeks and for sponsoring this video. If you're serious about becoming a full-time YouTuber and you want to accelerate your growth in six weeks then head over to creatornow.club and add your email address to the waiting list. I guarantee it's the best investment for your YouTube channel you can make. If you have any questions let me know in the comments below don't forget to subscribe if you like part two of this video where i test out these tips in the streets of london see you next week